What's going on guys? So today I want to talk to you guys about overtraining and does it exist? Um, what my thoughts are on it and in general what I think about rest days, what I think about training volumes, etc. And um, I'm getting asked this a lot lately. What I feel is that you should train what's best for you and don't always listen to what other people are saying. Go try something. If somebody tells you you can't train arms every single day but you think you can, go try it. See what happens. Maybe it will work for you. Maybe it won't. But I think that everyone looks at the exact same thing over and over again, and it just gets repeated. It's, um, it's starting to drive me a little bit nuts because I get the same questions over and over again about the same things, and people don't do any research on it on their own. They just kind of like accept what people say. So, and it bothers me because I always like to try different things like, I've tried doing bench press every day. I've tried doing arms every day. I've tried all this ex all this stuff in training. And honestly, what I've realized is that everything works to an extent. And um, you're way better off doing anything than not doing anything. So just because somebody says you should take a rest day doesn't necessarily mean that that's what's right for you. That's somebody else's opinion. So... I don't schedule rest days. I train every day. Sometimes I train twice a day. It depends on how I feel. And if I feel like I need a day off, then I take a day off. And I just, I know my body. And that's the, it's the only way you're ever going to be successful in building the physique that you want is to learn your body. And eventually, you'll know what works. And you can try different things. And, but you can try things that you were, that you're, that are likely going to work. Because, um, you already know what you've done in the past, you have those experiences, and you've learned enough about your body that, let's say you've tried really high volume training, and it didn't work for you, then you're probably not the type of person that's going to try squatting every single day, if you can't recover from it. Now, if you're somebody that can go in the gym every day, you recover extremely fast, then maybe high volume is the way to go for you, and maybe that's what you get the best results out of. So it's all about learning your body. Understand that everyone's different. Just because your friend did something doesn't mean that you can do it. And just because your friend can't do something doesn't mean that you can't do it. So stop asking other people what you need to be doing and figure it out for yourself. And um, it's that simple. Just look, step back from Instagram, step back from Facebook, step back from everyone else trying to tell, that's telling people what to do. And think for yourself. Think of something that makes sense and go from there. And if you think that it has the potential to work, then try it. And it's that simple. Figure it out, learn from your mistakes, and move forward. That's it. Um, I just want just something for you guys to think about because it's been driving. Some of the questions I get lately through Instagram have been driving me a little, nut, a little bit crazy. It's like, you obviously didn't think about this on your own first. Or you didn't think about it for more than about 10 seconds or do any research on it whatsoever. So figure some stuff out for yourself and try try things. If you think that you can do something, then try it and figure out if it works for you. Don't worry about what other people have done. So that's it. hope this is useful. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon.